Hey guys, it's Kez. Today I want to talk about gratefulness, which is something that I've been practicing for the last six months or so, and I feel has completely changed my life. Around five years ago, I used to think I was grateful, but having gone through a bit of a turbulent time, I now realise that I wasn't fully grateful and fully appreciative of everything that I had. So I want to talk about what happened with my family the last five years and not because I want to share a sob story with you guys, not at all. I am very lucky and I know that there are people going through and people that have gone through a lot worse than, than we have as a family. But just to show you guys how I reached a point of full gratefulness. So around five years ago, my family were living a very healthy and happy lifestyle. We had this awesome big house in Surrey that we all lived in and nothing tragic had ever really happened to any of us. Around Christmas time, my granddad on Christmas day went to hospital and then rapidly declined. And in July of that year, he passed away. And he was one of the greatest people I've ever, ever known. Then, October of that year, two of my brother's best friends passed away in a tragic car accident and that had a huge impact on the whole community, including my brother and my family. About six months after that happened, my other granddad on my mum's side became really ill and my mum felt the need to go back to England to be with him. We all actually went back to England initially and Within about six months of my mum giving up her house and her career, the real estate market in Canada went crazy and our house value shot up a couple hundred thousand dollars and her career in real estate boomed and they ended up losing hundreds of thousands. But worse yet, my mum's father passed away and the stress of everything caused my mum, who had always been very healthy, her health started to decline. She was in and out of hospital probably eight, nine, ten times. Um, started with like severe nosebleeds to the point where they couldn't stop the blood. Um, and she had a couple procedures and ended up having an operation. And then when, once we thought all that was sorted, she then started having heart attack symptoms that turned out to be gallstones. And, um, she was in and out of hospital with that and then had to have another operation. During that time, my brother and I and my stepdad had all come back to Canada for different reasons. And my mom was left in England on her own. She'd taken her whole life over there, her animals, like given up everything. And she'd also taken over her dad's business, um, which she promised he she would do and it was it was quite a mess and she ended up putting so much time and energy and lots and lots of money into this business and it kind of kept her there for a while but she ended up feeling stuck there and a lot of bad stuff happened with the business she she got involved at a very vulnerable time with a business partner that ended up it didn't end up being a good decision and yeah they lost more money more money more stress um i saw my mum who was by far and still is strongest person i know unbelievably strong i saw her at such a vulnerable state and that probably above everything was the hardest thing for me personally so as well as that, there were other things. Um, they got in a car accident, which um, screwed both of their backs up. My dad had a knee injury and he, uh, he owns his own business and that was their only source of income. And he ended up not being able to work for months. So they just struggled. It was just struggle after struggle. It was, it was, it was a little ridiculous. It was like, what's gonna come next? Like, bring it on kind of thing. Um, but it was the hardest, hardest time of my mum's life. She was absolutely broken at some stages. Alongside all of this, from the very beginning, 
one of the closest people in my life became seriously, seriously depressed. And obviously that above everything else is, is, is terrible to deal with because there's nothing you can do for that person. And me being someone who had always had problems in the past that I could solve, suddenly had these problems that were way too big and completely out of my control and my anxiety like skyrocketed. I had anxiety attacks. I had loads of time off work, which made me feel worse. And I would dwell on it all. And it just saddened me the extent of it and that I couldn't help these people. I couldn't do anything about it. And I actually couldn't talk about these things very often um, unless I'd had a couple of drinks. Um, it felt like our family had failed in a way. And this idealistic life that we had, had crumbled. And we were no longer this family unit. All we ever needed in life, because whenever bad things were happening, we had this family unit and that had just separated. We were in different countries, we, and we were all going through different things and it was very hard. And I just remember feeling very hard done by and as though like my family don't deserve this which in reality is just a ridiculous way of thinking and it actually got me nowhere so um at the moment um basically all this stuff is still happening um my stepdad is homeless he sleeps on his mum's couch my mum is still stuck in england um the person closest to me is still very very depressed and yeah, it's all still going on. But what has changed is my attitude towards it. And also my family's attitude towards it. So that's what I want to share about how I became grateful. So like I said, my family's still in this situation. We still have to work very hard at um, staying positive. My my parents are still apart, my mum's still away from her kids, my mum and my stepdad have to work really hard at making their marriage work so far away, and, and I don't know when this will be over. What has changed though is all of our mentalities towards everything. It has completely changed who I am. What happened is a very, very dear friend gave me a book and if you guys want to know what book it is just reach out to me I'll, I'll send it to you but she gave me a book that I started reading and it spoke about gratefulness which which I obviously know about but I, I actually started to listen I kind of needed it and I started reading a lot more I started meditating I started practicing mindfulness and gratefulness and I actually wrote out a list of things that I'm grateful for, which I, I try and check every morning, but you know, it's in here. Um, and I just started seeing everything differently and accepting that these things had happened and maybe they're not, then they can't be solved, um, especially not right away, but being accepting of it and not letting it affect me day to day um but most of all being grateful for what i have um i still have my incredible family we still we've had the most amazing time for the past five years despite everything we went on a road trip around ireland in a van where we listened to irish songs and we laughed and like just unbelievable memories and we went to the rockies and every time we're together, it, it's never ever been better. Every moment, this is gonna make me cry more than the bad stuff. Every moment that we're together, I cherish and we laugh more and we sing more and we're like, we're like the Brady Bunch or something. Like, I always appreciated my family, but I just, I am just so happy for them. 
and I like to think that everyone has something in their lives that makes them as excited as I am right now talking about this and being grateful for that changes everything. I don't, I couldn't care less about material things. I have, in my opinion, the best family in the world and that's all that mattered, that's all that ever mattered and to see that is, is such a blessing. I have everything that I ever needed and we're closer than ever and, and we all have this true gratitude and appreciation and that I think brings peace of mind where I probably never had it before and I probably would have never have had it before and it's completely changed me as a person and what I want from life and, and I found this amazing, amazing partner, Tom, my partner, who supports and encourages me and he was found in all this big mess of everything and I learned that money really doesn't bring you happiness um it 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 brings you kind of security and and freedom in a way but but there's there's no reason to idolize money or these material things um i've also learned who truly truly supports you which is an amazing lesson to have because you start to appreciate those people more and you kind of learn also the people that kind of are happy to see you fail and that's a good lesson too right um i live life more fully um and knowing that things can change at any minute it, it just it just gives life more meaning i love more i worry less i've i've pushed myself to this point where i've actually started fixing things like my anxiety and and becoming who i truly am which is part of what these videos are, right? Um, I've learnt lessons and I just, I'm just excited. I'm so excited for the future. I'm not scared of it anymore. I, I've, I've overcome some stuff and I know that I can and I know that I'm strong and I know that I have my family and they're healthy and, and we can be happy and we have everything we need and I am so grateful for that. I'm not someone that believes that everything happens for a reason um, but I do believe that in a lot of seemingly bad situations, not all bad situations, but a lot of them you can find some positivity from it, you can take something from it a lot of those things that I just mentioned, I look back on now and I see how that's how that's made me grow, the value in it, and I can sincerely say that at this point in my life, I have never ever been happier. I'm still dealing with some things. Um, there's there's still a lot that I I can't fix and I probably won't be able to fix but gratefulness has made me find peace of mind and I'm so glad that I went through all of that stuff or most of that stuff in order to find that. So I don't suggest going through a bunch of crap in order to do it but if you can find a way to find true gratefulness and practice it daily just just list a few things that you're grateful for and really feel it that's the key not just listing it off like <laughs> like you're just telling yourself a story every morning but really feel it then it can honestly change your life